Hello, Lilo. This week, we'll be taking a look at the Bandai Card Fest as a spectator, specifically focusing on the One Piece Championship because One Piece is peak. Now, I would say I'm a casual card toucher and an avid anime lover. I collect and play One Piece and Pokemon cards, and my favorite deck to play is Katakuri. So when I heard that there was an event where all my favorite animes, sweat-inducing games, and exclusive merchandises were all smushed into one venue, and it was free to attend, I knew I had to book my tickets a pronto. So what is Bandai Card Fest? The Bandai Card Game Fest is a large event where they have national tournaments for all trading card games produced by the toy company Bandai. They produce games for big anime franchises such as Battle Spirits, Dragon Ball, Digimon, and their latest upcoming game, Union Arena. Arguably their biggest franchise being the One Piece trading card game, with over millions of players worldwide since its release in 2022. Every year, nine of these national tournaments are held worldwide and all winners get flown out to compete in the world's championship, which this year will be held in Tokyo, Japan. And even if you don't win, the exclusive event packs are worth having because it's your plane ticket home. It's also a big hub to meet with other players and nerds alike. So it's a pretty big deal. I was ready right when signups were open, but in internal error, all the seats were filled immediately. But don't worry, some of my friends got seats, so we'll take a look at their experiences. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the US Bandai Card Game Fest 23 to 24, or NATS for short. Checking out all the events, exhibits, shows, and of course, cool cards we could touch. We're here to win! Only if luck is on my side. <laughs> Goal is second day. <laughs> Make it the second day. That's all that matters. Ikimashou! Nats is held at the LA Convention Center in Los Angeles, California, which I have never been to before. Hence why I immediately got lost in LAX. We got 100, 20, 28, and then 9 through 38. Where's the numbers in between? <laughs> And after refusing to submit to airport food prices, we walked all the way to the food that every Cali and their mama swears by. Walk for 30 minutes to get a two-minute food. <laughs> I chose to stay at the Moxie in downtown LA, which is in perfect walking distance to the event. They also upgraded my room. It's like a cardboard. <laughs> Welcome to me, Whoa! Out to myself. <laughs> The view was awesome, the room was clean, there was a hung up bicycle handle named Chopper, and I could unlock my room with my phone. <laughs> it's also connected to the AC Hotel, which has a rooftop overseeing the event. Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour. Interesting. That should be where we are going, so. Our plan is to buy some some One Piece stuff. Maybe some soccer, maybe some Adele, I don't pathetic. know. Pathetic! What do you mean <laughs> Disgusting! Pathetic? I don't Menace. play the way it is. What do you mean? I play Kaido. I play purple Kaido. What do you mean? It's not even meta. I lose all the time. So the day before, there isn't much to do besides getting your players back. So unfortunately, us snormy spectators weren't allowed in. Look at those people having fun. Along with getting your player badges, you get a scavenger hunt and you get a bag of Bandai merch. Let's hear this. Oh, they just give you <laughs> this is hard. And inside, you get exclusive promo cards for each trading card game. Mm. Mine. Oh, I'm not even there yet. Look away! <laughs> Players also get four exclusive celebration packs. Ooh. I wonder what's in them. <gasps> oh, I got the songs in you. Wow which are limited edition cards with a 2023 championship stamp. None of these work with Cat Curry. Sad days. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and Bandai is well known for making high quality cards with freaking amazing art. So immediately, the cardboard negotiation started. This every Cameraman's getting addicted to one of these cards, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he needs a suru. This is the alt art. It's an alt art. I've never seen an alt art suru before. There was also a pamphlet and a promo for the One Piece gym in Japan. Oh, the sun. Please, please fly us there. <laughs> I will turn into gear for Luffy. I promise. For the rest of the day, we just hung out at downtown Little Tokyo. Checked out a really sick rooftop zen garden at the Double Tree. Smells like fish. And I had to clench my butt cheeks to not wail for more Genshin Mommy. It's Geo Mommy. And Lightning Mommy. What? It's only $17. What do you mean only $17? Because they're like really good. And look at these play mats. 
It's dangerous. Get, I'm, gonna wa- I'm, gonna, kind of... I'm gonna wail again. I did end up buying some really cool One Piece coasters. Whoa, coasters! <laughs> And after eating some delicious ramen to drown away my guilty shopping and a titanium infused ice cream sandwich. Do you like your cookie well medium? But it's actually well done. <laughs> we hit the sacks and got ready for the big day tomorrow. I felt so good this morning. It starts at nine. The opening ceremony starts at eight. Spectators, we can't even just come in to one. Considering how many people have been play testing in the lobbies. I kid you not, there's like 10 to 20 people. And holy smokes, it's so sweaty. I love it. After thanking Chopper for watching over me last night, we got coffee and hung out while Bandai had their opening ceremony, which had special guest Kape Yamaguchi, the voice actor of Usa. So to combat our itching FOMO, we went to Target to see if there were One Piece cards, which to no one's surprise, there was none. So we satiated our itch with the classic, Pokemon. I really bought blisters. I buy boosters. I boost, not bliss. No, I'm kidding. I can't open <laughs> And. Oh, oh, that's so nice! That's so nice. What the heck? My turn. First pack. Okay, let's go. Oh! oh. Whoa! That's one for one. First one. <gasps> Whoa! I love that he's like, he's tall. Open. He's just tall. He's tall. He's just helping out. Snorlax. <gasps> Yo, we got the guard chomp. Oh. My morning was on. As we were heading back, we got an emergency call from the Dabber Boys. Apparently, the One Piece tournament had a three hour delay. And in those three hours, we made a mistake. <laughs> That's what we did. <laughs> My friends made questionable financial decisions. I sat there and I was like, I guess we're buying this. And then the guy goes, go look with the flight. I was like, but my jolly self didn't care because I was a spectator. We got our spectator's badge. This is not the way, it's the other way. And loot and went up the escalators to the entrance of the event. And immediately upon entering, I was so overwhelmed by the amount of people. Now, as I mentioned, the event has many things to do. Besides the tournament, there are also exhibition booths, retail, and a main performance stage. I was sad to see that they didn't have a vendor hall. There was only one retail, which the line was too much for me mentally. So instead, the first thing we hit was my favorite section, the exhibition booth. There are four exhibition booths, each showcasing different anime franchises. My favorite, for sure, was the One Piece section. There was a life-size Luffy figurine, very sugoi. They had a bunch of figurines on display next to the massive wall of every One Piece trading card. Yes, every card, from structured decks, I need, I need four. To OP01, to OP05, to even the unreleased OP06, which is only out in Japan. And towards the center, they have walls showcasing original manga drawings of Luffy's Road to Gear 5. And the other side had character concept drawings for the latest One Piece arc, Egghead Island. For the longest, I thought this was Dr. Vegapunk. Why does this man look goofy? We gotta walk away, there's spoilers right here. Right next to One Piece is what I call the Union Arena booth, which had figurines along with trading cards of Jujutsu Kaisen, Bleach, and Hunter x Hunter. Look at how nice these cards are. Don't look away, look at how shiny Killua is. And Hisoka! Next was the Digimon booth that of course had Digimon. They had life-size Digimon along with also trading cards, figurines, anime art, and a photo booth. The last booth is a Manga Plus booth, which is an official manga reader made by Shueisha. It was like a mini manga museum with sections showcasing anime such as Oshinoko, My Hero Academia, and Chainsaw Man. But after being distracted by all these side quests, I remembered we had a main objective. And so we headed our way to the One Piece Championship Tournament. Remember how I said I didn't get in? Well, come to find out there were 1,600 people that got in before me. So with the pressure on, my friends were fighting to keep the Tokyo dream alive. How are you? How are you doing? Terrible. I'm dying. I lost making that comeback now. I am X3 with Sakazuki. Heck These yeah. mirrors are crazy. No, no. These mirrors are insane. All right, so my round one was kind of curry. Okay. I lost. Oh. Bricks. Okay. And yeah, three out for every Kuzan I played. Oh. I was cooked. With some more tilted than others. Seven drop. Okay. And then ten jump. Ten jump. Eight jump. Pedal. I was like, oh. There's a lot of rounds left. I want to die. There was lunch for like 30 minutes. 
We waited for three hours for the event to start. That was kind of cool. That was great. I really like that. Being on edge, you know what I mean? I was definitely catching their secondhand stress. So while the rounds went, we decided to play some chill casuals. <laughs> Chill, as in, I got destroyed by Red Zorro. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> what happened now? Maybe. 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 But honestly, it was such a vibe. I had so much fun playing some casual matches and checking out y'all's binders. And I got to meet so many of you guys. My attempt at a koi fish. My attempt at a koi fish. My attempt. <laughs> Which, thank you guys for enjoying my content. It was truly the highlight of my day to see each and every one of you. Hey, if you guys liked the video so far, make sure to like and subscribe so you guys can be up to date on all the anime shenanigans I put myself up to. <laughs> but back to the event, what trading card event would it be if there wasn't some sweaty trading? It's because those are going to go up to like 12 minutes. They're bread. They go up and down a lot. Oh, they're like bread. I like that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> but as the time went on, there were some issues. The reason the booing is because there's been an announcement of repair. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Repairing is when you forfeit your latest match to be repaired with another person, which happened three times. So everyone started dropping like flies. Day one was supposed to be 11 rounds, but due to time constraints, they shortened it to 10 rounds, which was really confusing and sad to hear. This game sucks. I'm bad. I wish I were the main character. Just one time. Just one time. What'd you do? What did I do? I, I want X5. So with disappointment and shame, not me, of course. We ate our not-so-dangerous tofu stews and recharged for an even bigger mission to come. It's 6.50 in the morning. We've only slept for probably four hours. We're going because we need to finish that scavenger hunt. We can grab the prize card, which is $300, by the way. $300. Nothing powers a card collector or a TCG player more than dollar signs on cardboard. Clearly, I underestimated because I did not expect this massive line at 7.30 in the morning. But all is fine when there are cards to touch. You're so talented, like, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. And after waiting for two hours, we got inside to do the scavenger hunt. A scavenger hunt was provided to each registered attendee and the activities were spread out across the venue. The tasks were fairly simple, most centered around social media, quizzes, and surveys, with each task having lines that would put the DMV out of business. You do get prizes for competing tasks such as card sleeves, a gold dawn card, pins, and even card packs. And with six out of 10 tasks complete, you get the scavenger hunt prize. But of course, I need real packs. So we made our way to the dreaded retail line, which this time was a lot faster. They had one window that sold exclusively figurines, most notably my favorite, <laughs> Curry. The reason why there's so much tape is because we had to check it in. <laughs> oh, it's a box within a box. <laughs> Another box in a box. <laughs> check it out. Just, no, I think I'm fine with just seeing him like this. I like my box is sealed and my pack's open. Okay, this is pretty nuts. You versus the Asian kid your mom compares you to. The other windows sold card packs and structure decks. You weren't allowed to buy boxes and there was a limit of five packs per person. We're rich! Uh, what are we chasing? These guys, that guy, or Betty Sakazuka right now. You, what if you pull the, the Altar Pika? I'm gonna cry. I'm legitimately gonna cry. It's regular Pika. His regular Pika. Not the Pika. <laughs> the one thing. I must have used up all my pull game yesterday because I pulled absolute dog water. <laughs> Not to mention, everyone around me had all the luck. I got all my luck yesterday. I got I got Katakuri. <laughs> That's all that matters. It's only for the 20. The last bag. I can't believe that. The luck is in here. But it was pretty hype though. But honestly, I was okay with not pulling anything because I got the creator of One Piece TCG, Ogawa Shun, to sign my Katakuri card. <gasps> there you go. Thank <laughs> you. We also spectated the top matches. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. He's so good. Oh my goodness. He's so good. He's swinging with him. 
40 games. Let's go. I was rooting for him. I won. I won the bet. I know. You won the bet. Won the That's bet. crazy. I would have definitely loved to have seen more of these, especially top 8, because I could not see anything this far away. By the way, take a look at this guy. At first, I was like, wow, he's being chillin'. I'm rooting for that guy. And a couple hours later, first place, the legendary God Anno player, Jonas Abraham. I was standing to a gangster and I didn't even know it. I'm an idiot. The last thing I checked out was the other championship sections and the main stage. Battle Spirit Saga being a trading card game with pretty boulders and Digimon being a well-established game since 2020. And over on the main stage, this is where they had live performances. They had Maki Otsuki, the singer of Memories. <laughs> and Hiroshi Kitadani, the singer of We Are, and Asu. I think you know, anime One Piece. They were so amazing and even gifted the winners with signed cards. Before we get to the end, I wanted to mention there was a separate venue to the right. This was where the Dragon Ball Battle Hour event was held, which you had to sign up separately as visitors. And the venue was even bigger! There were two big screens and multiple game sections. They had tournaments for Dragon Ball Fighters, which I was very hyped for because I used to play myself, the Dragon Ball Super Card game, and the Dragon Ball Legends, their mobile game, and this massive tank. You could also do a scavenger hunt where you scan QR codes around the venue. Once done, you win a Dragon Ball water bottle. So overall, at the Bandai Nats, I had a really great time. I got the loot, I met so many people, I made so many new nakamas, got exclusive goodies, watched how the matches mentally drained my friends, and experienced LA traffic. The good, meeting new people, exclusive merchandises, and special guest performances. The needs TLC, the long lines for anything, the repairings, and not being able to buy booster boxes. Overall, I would give the event a 8 den den out of 10. I thought you said you were done gambling. Okay, that's different.